Hi, everybody. It's Jericho Kenobi again. And today I'm going to talk to you about whether you need to do noise reduction for voiceover. The VoxBot. Make your voice heard. Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi from Jericho Kenobi Studios coming at you with another VoxSpot video. Remember, check out thevoxspot.com for all of your voice recording needs. Now today, we're going to talk about a topic that has a lot of people on both sides. Do you need to noise reduce your voiceovers? Now, of course, it's going to depend a little bit on where you are. What is your recording area like? Is it noisy? Well, you should really do absolutely everything that you can to reduce the noise in your recording environment before trying to deal with it with software. And the reason is because for every dollar that you spend reducing the noise in your environment, you are going to save countless hours and dollars trying to do the same thing with software or hardware like gates, okay? And in some cases, it's simply not gonna be possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick recording in a room that's relatively quiet, but is intentionally not perfectly quiet. This is not the Jericho Kenobi Studio Vox Box. This is outside in the regular recording area, okay? Not perfectly quiet. So we're gonna do a recording here in Adobe Audition CC 2019, which gives us a really nice tool in the spec display to be able to see the noise rather than just hear it. So let's go ahead, dive in and do a quick recording. I've already got it armed. We're going to give it five seconds of room tone. I'm going to do a quick voice recording and then we'll give it five more seconds of room tone after. Here we go. Hey everybody, it's Jericho Kenobi and we're doing a quick recording here in Jericho Kenobi Studios to answer the age-old question of whether or not you need to do noise reduction on your voiceover. And there we go. Okay, so let's take a look right off the bat. And what we see here on the spectrograph, which if you don't see it and you have Adobe Audition CC 2019 or CC 12.0, it's because your show spectral frequency display button has not been toggled. So it's this little button right up there. Give that a click. And if you see only that, you want to click it. Okay. So now we see it. You can bring it up and down all as well. Now noise is represented on a spectrograph with colors. And the simple way to describe it is that each frequency gets its own color depending on how loud the sound is at that frequency with white being the very loudest and black being the very quietest so you can see while i was talking obviously there's lots of color at different frequencies the bottom of the chart is the low end of the vocal spectrum of my voice where the top is the upper end right so bottom of the y-axis low frequencies top of the y-axis high frequencies but when i wasn't talking you can still see there's color that means there is noise now actually in this what we're seeing is a very characteristic type of noise in that it is a tonal noise at a specific frequency and that is at 60 hertz and 120 hertz. Those are very common. People get them all the time. They can be very quiet or they can be very loud. They are called ground loops. And that is what happens when you have AV equipment that is tied together through power cables, through USB cables, through mic cables, any type of cabling that is not plugged into the same circuit, okay? We intentionally did this so that we would get a ground loop. It's a rather quiet ground loop, but it's there. So let's take a listen to this noise and see if you can hear it. You might need to crank those speakers or put on some good headphones. Can you hear it? It's very, very subtle. And you could see over on the meters. Watch it again over here on the meters. It's not bouncing up real high sub 50 ish that's pretty quiet but that's still going to get you rejected in a lot of of different pro type settings so let's figure out what we do about this 
inside of Adobe Audition is a noise reduction tool, but it's not as good as some of the third-party tools. Why? Well, there's a lot to have to do with artifacting, how well it uses its subtractive uh, noise reduction, how well it gates around frequencies. All of that is going to be covered in our next video, which compares Adobe Audition's built-in stock noise reduction plugin and their new Denoise single knob plugin against our favorite Spectral Denoise by Isotopes RX. So let's open up Spectral Denoise in RX right now and show you how well you can get rid of that without impacting the audio, okay? So I've got it hotkeyed and I'm gonna go ahead and bring up Spectral Denoise. To run it, you need to select a section of only noise, teach it by clicking learn and then play it. Some DAWs will automatically capture that, analyze it. In Adobe Audition, you actually have to play it. You want to unclick learn, unclick your section, and click apply. All of those settings, we're going to go through those again in the next video. But now take a look at our spectrogram here. And you can see the color is almost all black before and after. That noise, that tonal noise is all gone. But the signal is still there. And I can prove it. So here's how I'm going to prove it. I'm going to go back and show you the pre noise reduced recording, okay? And now I'm gonna do something a little bit tricky. I am gonna open the preview editor, the spectral preview editor, which is this button right here. Click it and what will happen is anytime that you do anything that will impact the audio, it will show you that impact down in the bottom graph. And that's important because one really cool little trick. Watch this. Now I'm gonna bring up spectral denoise again. It has already been taught the noise profile, so I don't need to reteach it. So what's going to happen down on the bottom is we're going to see what we saw the first time. But there's a button in Spectral D Noise that will allow us to evaluate how well it is removing the just the noise and not taking away any of the signal or our voice, which we want to keep. If it pulls that out, you get artifacts, you get problems. So let's take a look. The button, the secret little trick is, once you have the preview editor engaged, click output noise only. And what this will do is instead of showing you the result, it will show you instead what it's taking away. That is hugely impactful and you can use this for any plugin. It is a really cool trick. So now look, what do you see? Absolutely none of that signal is showing up. It is almost magical the way RX is able to pull out that signal. That nice straight line that's going on before the, video, the audio is still there. It's almost entirely separated out the actual spoken word. That's how we know there are no artifacts. If you do this with the built-in plugin in Audition, you don't get as good a result. And I promise you, you don't get as good as results in any other plugin. We have tested them all. RX Spectral Denoise. One last tip about RX Spectral Denoise. If you have RX6, don't think about upgrading the RX7. They are exactly the same algorithm. We asked Isotope. They even told us no changes. All right. So there you go. We're going to undo that. We're going to bring it up, and I think we have conclusively answered that if your noise floor is low enough, meaning that you can subtract the noise and keep the signal, then it is important that you do noise reduction. Again, you can test that in Adobe Audition, bringing up the preview editor and then doing output noise only. I'm almost certain that the Adobe Audition version also has an output noise only, but we'll see that again in our next video. So that's it for us today, and we want to thank you very much for watching. If you've got questions, comments, or you'd like to see any other videos, go ahead and put them down in the comments. If you've not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do that. We'd really enjoy it because we're just getting started. We've got tons of great content for you, so get on board, and we can all enjoy the ride together. This is Jericho Kenobi, and I am signing off from Jericho Kenobi Studios for the VoxBot.com and VoxBot videos. Now go make your voice heard.